Let's take a look at three different ways to insert images in Figma. The first way, if we find our Figma drop-down menu, we can go to File, Place Image. That's Shift-Command-K or Shift-Control-K if you're on Windows. So we're going to click Place Image, and we're going to go find some images. I think in my Downloads folder, I have a couple over here. We can hit Open, and it allows us to place the image wherever we want just by clicking or by clicking and dragging like so. And it's going to sort of resize that image, or not resize, but it's going to fill the frame that we're creating with that image. Now, this is an actual image layer, so it's not necessarily a frame, but we can scale this up and down. And you can see on the right-hand side, the fill of it is an image. And right now, the image fills the size of the bounding box. We can also fit it, so you can see how it fits the height or the width to the frame that it's in. We can also crop it, which means we can scale the image up and down. I would hold Shift while you do that. You can hold Shift and Option or Alt if you're on Windows to scale from the inside out proportionally. So you can see how we have a cropped section of this image. And we can just grab the edge of the image underneath and scale that up or down. We can also adjust the crop as well and click off of it to crop that image to the uh, correct form factor or size that you want it. And then we can tile the image as well, which just kind of tiles it at the size of the image, which is a lot larger than this frame here. So we'll go back to fill. Now, that's one way to place an image. Another way is if you just had your folders out here, you could click and drag that image in, and it will do effectively the same thing. The only difference is it's going to place it at 100%. So you might have to zoom out a little bit, scale this bounding box down to get back to the right size. Now, the last way is you could create a frame initially, and then you could go to fill of the fill settings of that frame and click on it. And instead of a solid color, you could select an image. Then you can choose the image by clicking right here. And then we can select that same image and open it up. And we have the same properties here. You can fill, fit, crop, or tile, just like on these other images here. Now it does look a little bit different here because you have basically the background of the frame over here, so it's still considered a frame, whereas these are more like just images sitting in here, and these are the bounding boxes of the images. However, I prefer to just add a frame and then set the fill of that frame to be an image rather than placing an image inside of here. But to each their own, and I think that there's just different ways of working with images here in Figma. But that's how you can insert images here in Figma.